Hello guys, Sid the IT guy here and in this video I will show you how to set up the project that I have been working on in my playlist. So the first thing you have to do is open up VS Code or Sublime Text, anything that you use. Um, and the next thing you have to do is open up the XAMPP application or uh, Laragon, which I am using in my case. So that. And after that, uh, in the description box, you will find the GitHub repository link. So here I am on that screen. So what you have to do is go to code and copy this. And in your VS Code terminal, you just have to type git clone this. So when you clone it, yeah. So then uh, CD into it. Yeah, so this is the project that we are in. Yeah. After that, run composer in. After that, open it up in a new VS Code window. So let me maximize it. So take the emp.example file and rename it to dot env. Yeah. And just say Shopify project dot test. Yeah. After that, open up a new terminal and run php artisan optimize. I'm sorry, PHP artisan optimize. After that, create a database. So in this case, I dropped my existing one. So I'll create another one, Shopify project. I will copy this and paste it here. So this is my local system. So root and no password will work. App key. So then we will do PHP artisan key generate. That is that. After that, we will run again the optimize command. After that, we will run PHP artisan vendor publish. It is zero, everything. Yeah, that, sh that should be good. So restart the XAMPP or uh, Laragon app that you have. Yeah, so it has detected my new project, so it will create it for me. And after that, run php artisan db seed oh i'm sorry php artisan migrate so all my tables are created so after that you can run db seed so this this is done so let me check my database so i will do do shopify project and i'll do select star from users yeah, so we have one user and that's it. So this doesn't have a store ID and I haven't built the interface for the super administrator yet. So that is coming in another video. So now let's go for the installation part. So the first thing you have to do is go to partners.shopify.com. Click join now um, and complete the registration process. It is free to do is go to shopify.com slash partners and click on login. So you will have to go through the registration process if you don't have an account yet. I do. So I will directly jump here. So I will go to the apps. And I will create an app from here. So create app manually. And in the app name, you can put whatever you want. So I will say app 2. And in the app URL, you have to provide an ngrock URL. So what I will do here is simply go to my Laragon, right click share and Shopify product. Yeah, so I'll get my ngrock URL from here. So I'll take this. Oh, it's already copied. So I will do HTTPS this right here. Shopify slash auth. And let's copy this and then do Shopify slash auth slash redirect. So just these three things are required. So you must make sure that your ngrock URL works on your local system. So after that, you can paste it here, click on create app and it will create it. So in my case, I already have an app created for me. So in this case, what you will do is simply click on it. Get the API key and the secret key here. So I will copy this and I will paste it under env file and I'll say Shopify API key equals this and Shopify 
API secret equals this. So I'm, I'll run PHP artisan optimize again. And this ng-doc URL that I just got, I will update it. Yeah. And let's save it. Yeah, so I have the currently the current ng-roc uh, URL on my app. So that is done. Now let's go to the stores and create a development store. So I already have a, a development store created for me. So what you have to do is click on add store development put any name here i can say test store 3 and then you can say test store 3 is not available so i can say 3 4 5 anything probably that is also not available so we can say laravel project 4 yeah it is available so put your password here and the one thing that is important is checking this box so you will be able to test the app on the store so put anything here click this will also work put an address and just hit save if you fill this form out correctly then you will have your development store created with the development pre developer preview uh, checked and selected something here so let's go back to stores and after that you will land here with your store created so you just hit login here So it will log you into the store that you just created. Here it is, laravelproject2.myshopify.com. So in the apps, you first have to remove, I have to remove it, you don't need to. So let's remove it, my public app, remove. But when you first create the store, there shouldn't be any kind of apps here other, th other than this online store or some pre-installed app that Shopify gives you. So we have done this now go back to your partners account click on apps click on the app that you created and hit select store select the developer previewed uh, store click install okay so I got a bit of a glitch where I had to configure the auth token. So in Shopify project.yml file, which is inside the bin folder of uh, ng-log and then CONF, you have to add the line. So if I open it with notepad, then this is already there and you have to provide the auth token here. Yeah. So when that is done, so when that is done, you need to restart um, ng-log and you have to paste it again. So in app setup, I will update it. This, this, and I'll save it. And in the app, I will also do this. So HTTPS. So now I have the latest ng-roc URL everywhere. So run PHP to some optimize and now we should be good. We should be good to test it. So then we will go to overview. Then we will do select store. Laravel project 2 in tall app. I don't know why ng-roc is throwing this many errors. Yeah. So here we have the first screen and uh, you can click install app. I don't know why it is throwing multiple times. Also change the app PNB to production. Yeah. 
yeah after that let's see one more time mm. time i'll do yeah select store i'll do install <clears throat> I'll click install app. Yeah, then it will directly land to the login page. Yeah, installation credentials have been sent. Please log in. So I can refresh it. Why this is happening again? This is because of NGDoc. But anyway, so let me verify the database. Yeah, so now we have our user created with the store ID one. And let's find out what the password was. So I can simply do laravel.log and let's find out what the password was. Yeah, so this is the password that got generated. So take this from your Laravel log file and let's log in now. This ID should be a Gmail. Do this and log in. This and we'll log in. Yeah, so now we have landed on our dashboard and now it's working fine. I can say never go to the product page and it has nothing here. So click on sync products. Therefore, I know that it's got successful and I got my products here. So I know that the API key is valid. So go on my team. Yeah. Then let's add a member. Yeah. So let's add a test member right here. Test user one, test user one at gmail.com. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will provide them the read permissions. Pay two dollars and submit. So this will redirect to Shopify store and it will ask for a payment approval. So when I click approve, yeah, it says sub user created. And in my team, there we go with the read permissions. So that is how uh, you can get the app to work. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you out. And uh, I'm signing off for this video. I hope this video helps you. And uh, you can go through the code yourself. And if you want, uh, you can raise any pull requests. If you think my code could be improved, I'll be happy to review this, the PR request. And um, I'll be happy to create a video about it just discussing about the pull request that you guys raise. So that is all for this video. Thank you.